Good morning everyone. So today is actually surgery day. Uh, feeling well slept actually. I haven't felt nervous or anything. It's 20 to 9 so yeah got a good night's sleep. I did dream about surgery though. <laughs> um, that was kind of a weird dream but yeah all my bag is packed for staying at my mum's because my mum's going to look after me because my boyfriend works full time and uh, yeah I'm just going to pop to the supermarket quickly and grab a couple of bits I'm going to grab some food for after surgery because I can't eat at all right now you're not allowed to eat six hours before admission time my admission time is at 12.30 <clears throat> and I definitely did not wake up at 6.30 to eat so I'm going to get some food for after and then, uh, yeah, let you know how my journey goes and how surgery goes. So I actually decided to walk to the supermarket because I thought it's a great way for me to get some movement in before surgery, get some steps in because afterwards I'm probably going to be pretty bed bound, especially today. So uh, I've got plenty of time. And it's about a 15 minute walk there, obviously 15 minute walk back. So a good half an hour of cardio. And it's very chilly this morning, so I'm all wrapped up. And uh, it's really foggy as well, but it kind of looks cool. So yeah, I'm gonna get some snacks and stuff and I'll show you what I get. Literally just arrived at Battersea Park a couple minutes early, so heading on in. Still don't feel nervous yet, but I'm sure I will soon. Here we are. with the anaesthetist so got this in ready to go nearly time don't feel too nervous to be honest just kind of want to get it done now so I guess see you after so I'm all out and apparently both ruptures both implants were ruptured, so I'm in a lot of pain, which isn't great. So, yeah, and I felt very cold, but they've got heaters on me, and they've given me lots of pain medication, but I'm just still in a lot of pain, which sucks. But surgery it was like two hours. But yeah. Ouch. Where's the food at? Hi guys, so I'm a little bit more with it than when I first spoke to you. I actually can't even remember what I said. But it is oh I haven't got my watch on. <laughs> What's the time, babe? Uh two minutes to seven. Two minutes to seven. The surgery took a little bit longer than they thought. It was like two hours. And he did like a pretty much an on block where he removes capsule and the implant and scar tissue and stuff. And then we put in implants. And guess what? Both were ruptured. Now, Naveen did take some videos or photos so hopefully I can pop some in to show you what the ruptured implants actually look like and one wasn't worse than the other they were pretty much the same so it's kind of odd that one boob reacted and one boob didn't
I'm in quite a bit of pain. It's better than a minute ago on the last video. But it's still quite intense. He's told me I need to open out my shoulders and chest. And he said that will actually help. But obviously that's really horrible to do. Um, it's just really sore and really tight. And yeah, hard to explain. Um, um, my blood pressure had been fantastic all prior, and now my blood pressure is a bit low. But I need to drink more, the nurse said. Drink, drink, drink. And they have ordered me some food. I'm not actually that hungry, weirdly. I was a minute ago. But I haven't eaten since 5 pm yesterday. And it's hot time? Four, two, seven. seven. <laughs> oh Four, two? Seven. I don't actually feel that bad. I still feel a little bit slurry and a little bit lightheaded, like when I'm sitting up, I'm a bit like, ooh. Um, but Dr. Cavalli, Medin, seems happy with how it all went. All the staff have been very, very lovely and very, very accommodating. I'm probably being really quiet. Am I being really quiet? Mm, that's um, really. And. Yeah, they've given me lots of painkillers. I think they're gonna still give me some more and then Naveen wants to put me on antibiotics for longer than normal. So rather than a week, maybe two or three weeks. And he wants to see me more regularly than normal post-op. So next Monday I will go in. Obviously I'll keep you updated. Don't know how long we'll wait until I go. I know the nurse said I really need to pee. <laughs> before we can think about me leaving and I currently don't have any urge to pee but I do need to drink more so I'm trying to drink more and guess what there was meant to be no people allowed in but they let Jamie in here yeah <laughs> my boyfriend um, how's let's get boyfriend's perspective on it how are you feeling I'm okay well, I'm glad that you're all right me, so <laughs> louder, louder, we can't hear you in the back. That's, that's how you were talking. I know, I'm but you're you. real quiet. I'm imitating you, I don't want, there's no one else here, so. Are you happy trying. to be able to come in? Of course. I'm glad that you're okay. I'm glad it's. I was stressing. Were you? Yeah. Were you stressing? Yeah. It was too They didn't call me, I didn't know what was going on. Oh. So. oh. Yeah, I was worried. Nothing to worry be about. Right. I, thought, I just thought they were black. Did they not call you at all? No. Really? Ooh, that's strange. Yeah, what's from you? The first one? The first anything we got was from you, me and your mum got from that first message. But maybe they up. would have called after because I still wasn't maybe. with yeah, it. Yeah, no, so I'm even just waiting. But you are, how do you feel about the whole procedure and the new boobies? I can't see the new boobies, but... They look the same size, which is good. Yeah, rather than one <laughs> massive and one small. One gigantic boob. And, oh, um, right. Yeah. Which is small. They were both ruptured, which is crazy. I know, mad, isn't it? I see a picture of them as well, and they're just yeah. exploding like water balloons, isn't it? Well, not really. They're flat. Exactly. Did you see them? No. Yeah, they're completely flat. Mm. I say it looked in the photo, I think it, it's hard to see, but it looked like they were just completely mm. squished. Well, weird. I'll post in whatever yeah, Naveen sends me, footage-wise. No, I think it was just broken and seeping out a bit. Yeah, it looked like they were just, like, pasted and weird. Mm. Both of them. Mm. Well, they ain't going to look like that soon, because I went bigger. <laughs> I had 425, and we went for 460. It's only because the new implants he's using, they're, like, apparently the top ones in the world, these mo Motiva. Mm. They only do 420, which would be less, or 460, which isn't actually that much bigger if you think of it like liquid, 460 millilitres yeah. or whatever. But, um, oh, I lost my train of thought. I do this all the time. I might just forget what the hell I was talking about. I do this when I'm not stoned. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't think it'll be a massive difference to the ones before. Oh, but also, it's okay. Um, oh no, I forgot again what I was going to say. I'll be back. Okay, how are you? Yeah, 
Getting there. <laughs> yes. What's like ideal? What or what was I before? If you didn't have this, it would be 120 over 8. Okay. Yeah. So it's on the lower side, but it's not low to the point where we were. Really. Yeah. It's just keeping an eye. Yeah. Okay. Great. And keep drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Could I get yeah. another green tea? Of Is that okay? With the two there. sweeteners, please. Yes. Thank you. No worries at all. You want? You want a water? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I did actually pack my plastic straw because I knew they were going to give me paper ones, but so far it's surviving. But yeah, I yeah catch up with you soon because I've waffled on for ages, laters. Before I forget, I want to show you my little makeshift heaters that the gentleman gave me. He was very sweet. I think his name began with the J, but I can't remember. But he was, it was really me. lovely. No, I'll try and remember because he was really sweet. But yeah, hot water bottles with gloves. So I've got two of them down there to keep me warm, and then he had this heater thing blasting hot air at me. But I have warmed up a little bit, so I turned it off for now. And to be fair, these are a little bit cold now. So, but yeah, I wanted to show you those. So my food has arrived. I'm actually not that cold. But I got a, what was it? A nice chocolate. Mm. I'm intrigued. Rice coconut. I don't know about that. Oh no, that's good. You gotta try it, it's really nice. And then I thought, Christmas is coming, let's get the Christmas baguette. Mm. That's not it. Mmm. Wanna taste the coconut? I do a tiny bit, but not it's not overpowering. You got it? I think so. I'm going to come and have a little zoom, like tap the screen and get a little close up. How's it looking? Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Ooh. Can't see what it is, but. Turkey, cranberry, pork, pork stuffing, stuffing, mayo, mm. and some leaves. you like? Hmm? What don't you like? The bread. It's <laughs> quite hard. You're funny. I'm going to let you get there. Green tea and hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And all top. Three drinks. Sleep. Speak to you soon. Bye. Here we are. Gonna get ready to go home now. No boobies. We are in the car. Finally going home. I've got my V pillow 
in a weird position just to protect my boobies from the seatbelt and for comfort. So yeah, had to pee before we could go. Managed to get a decent pee out and the nurse was all happy for me to go home. So it is now quarter to nine, but luckily that means there shouldn't be any traffic. So I should get back to my house for 10, ouchie. And then my mouth bumps hurt, mm -hmm. it's all right. And then uh, my mum's already waiting because she's a bit early. Um, and then she'll be taking me to her house to look after me. So feeling okay feel better in my head pain is more manageable but still very uncomfortable but I feel okay I feel more positive than when I got straight out of surgery but yeah ladies so just arrived at my mum's house it is now 20 past 11 I took my pain medication and my antibiotics when we stopped off at my house because Jamie drove me to my house and then my mum picked me up from there to drive to her house which is about a 55 minute drive <laughs> uh, and so we finally got here um, felt better for taking the pain meds uh, still very sore but I just feel a little bit better in my self in my head so yeah we finally arrived and my mum has everything set up ready for me let me show you so this is where I shall be staying for a few days, maybe even a week. Obviously I have my V pillow as well, which I will prop around myself because I've got to sleep upright. And then she was super cute and bought me some bits. This is a button up nighty, and it is so soft. You need to feel it, it's lovely. And then it's covered in putty cats. So she's got that for me to wear. So. Obviously button up is best. And then she got me some cute little slippers. And some fresh clean towels. So I've been spoilt. And then obviously I've got my big overnight week bag full of my stuff. Things like clothes, my laptop, uh, toiletries, etc. And then this is obviously the bag the hospital gave me, full of my medication and information. And then this is bits of foods and snacks that I wanted to bring. Crisps, my little popcorn fibre now bars that are super tasty. And my whey protein is underneath there that I'm going to mix in with my oats. And my mum bought me um, Quaker oats, my favourite ones. And some fruit and some chicken and vegetables. So I have everything I need, being very, very well looked after. That's her yelling at the dog in the background. Excellent. So yeah, I'm just going to unwind, uh, relax, uh, maybe eat something. I feel a little bit peckish. Um, and best to eat, obviously, when you have medication and stuff. So probably do that. But all good so far. So going to get myself off to sleep soon and hopefully have an okay night's sleep and update you in the morning so good night